Greetings on day three of the 22 blessings over your birthright and over your body. So yesterday, it was family supremacy, day two, um, the ruling head of the whole tribe. So the Lord wants you to know that in your birthright, you have the right to be the head and not the tail. That's another scripture that he gives us. And so one of our blessings, our birthright blessings, is family supremacy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So day three, we want to pray a blessing over your heart. We all know that a joyful heart is good like medicine. It doeth good like medicine. So we want to have a joyful heart. Amen. So the heart is located in our chest and we feel it beat. Each day it beats and keeps us moving, keeps our blood pumping, and keeps us full of life. Every cell of our body is fed by the blood that flows through our hearts. It pumps through our arteries and the uh, ventricle pumps the blood through the body, just like the receiving and giving hallelujah of the kingdom every portion of your body is affected by the working of your heart and even more interesting is that um, our heart sometimes is associated with our nervous system and it helps with the brain signals and communication systems to the brain emotions and intuition this is um, some scientific research that we have found. This sheds a whole new light on many of the scriptures that pertain to the heart. So Proverbs 17, 22 says, A joyful heart is good like medicine. And this connects the spiritual and the physical manifestations. I am a firm believer that there is a spiritual condition underneath most all physical health issues. And so if you deal with the spiritual roots, then you will alleviate and sometimes completely remove the physical health issues. So Psalms 51 10 says, create in me a clean heart, O God. This points to our forgiveness. For us to have a healthy, healthy heart, we have to be willing to forgive as Jesus forgave us. We must forgive those who trespass against us. That doesn't mean that we have completely um, said their behavior is okay. No, we are just setting ourselves free from the bondage of unforgiveness so that Jesus can move and work and operate in that situation. Amen? So we want to have a clean heart spiritually so that our heart physically will function properly. Here is the prayer for today's mo healing moment. Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Spirit, I ask you today to create in me a clean heart. I repent and ask the Spirit of God into my heart. I seek for the peace of God that passes all understanding to guard my heart and my mind in Christ Jesus. I draw near with a sincere heart and I partner my heart into alignment with your heart, Lord Jesus. I partner in alignment my mouth with the Holy Spirit because it is written, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. I thank you that you are always reaching out your heart for me in love. I speak blessings out of the heart and mouth today. How blessed is my heart that Christ dwells in my heart by faith. Cleanse and open my eyes of my heart, Lord. I give you my heart and I give my heart permission to seek out goodness to all three realms, physical, mental, and spiritual. Holy Trinity, guide my heart today to make right decisions in all that I do. Thank you for the blessings of my heart and may out of it the blessings for others come 
Let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable in your sight. O Lord, in Jesus' name, I ask these things. That was Psalms 4-7, Hebrews 10-22, Ephesians 3-19, 1-18. The Lord bless you and keep you. And today's blessing of your body tip. Eat five servings of fruits and veggies a day. If you can eat organic, that's much better for us. Eating five veggies and fruits a day help keep our body sharp, give us the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients that we need. And our blessing from the birthright is the Father's blessing. Abraham passed on the Father's blessing. And so we loose the Father's blessing over you. And I stand in the gap any place where your father wasn't all that he needed to be and didn't provide all that he should have for you. I repent for his actions. I ask forgiveness for his sins against you. And I say, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for how we treated you. Please forgive me. And I lose the Father's blessing over you today. The birthright blessing is that you are beloved. You are treasured. We are proud of you. We're proud that you are a child of God. And we're proud of who you've become. Not because of what you do. Not because of what you don't do. Because you're you. God bless you. And remember... The love we give away is the only love we keep. This is Apostle Cheryl Weaver with There's More Ministries. Check us out on the web or our YouTube page. Hit subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.